This question here is a very interesting take on systems of linear equations. We've got the prices for raspberries and blackberries at two different stores. Normally you would get the price for raspberries and blackberries at one store and you'd get the total number of them. And you can write your two equations that way. Here we have sort of the price combinations for two different stores, uh, but we can use that just as easily. So let's say X is the number of raspberries and Y is the number of blackberries. If that's the case, we can start with price times quantity statements. We can say we have X raspberries and they cost 550 per pint. So the price is 550, the quantity is X. And for the blackberries, the price is three and the quantity is Y. And for store A, they tell us that that total will come out to 37. For store B, we've got the prices at 650 for each raspberry and $8 for each blackberry. And that price is gonna come out to 66. So now we've got two equations and two variables and we can start solving. Uh, we need to know the number of blackberries, which is Y. So ideally we'd wanna get rid of X first, but being that X has the decimals and Y doesn't, I'm going to sort of opt to get rid of Y first. And then we'll simply have to plug that back in later, which is not so big of a deal. So we can multiply by eight and negative three. And that's because we've got three and eight here. So multiplying by the opposites with one negative sign is gonna make that cancel out. So let's go ahead and work that out. So we've got eight times 55, eight times 5.5 .5 is 44. So 44X plus 24Y equals 37 times eight, 296. For the next equation, negative three times 6.5. So negative 19.5 X and negative eight times, negative three times eight. So that'll be negative, negative 24 Y equals, and then 66 times three, negative 198. And now we can start adding down in all the columns, 296 minus 198 is going to give you positive 98. And in the X column, 44 minus 19.5 gives you 24.5 X and the Y's cancel because we have opposites. So now we can divide both sides by the 24.5. And you get a nice easy four. So the number of raspberries being purchased at either store is four. We can plug that back into either equation to get X. So we can say, we can plug that back to either equation to get Y rather. We can say 6.5, four plus eight Y is 66, 6.5 times four is 26, plus eight Y is 66, take away 26, eight Y is 40, divided by eight, Y is five, and that is B for this very interesting question.